Hi everyone, this is Selena. Welcome back to one of my videos. I hope you're well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name's Selena and I release a crochet tutorial every week. And this week I'm bringing to you this gorgeous project, um, which is a hooded shawl. So I invite you to go to my website, selenaveronique.com, for the free written pattern and um, plenty of pictures to help you along this project. So this is a semi-circular crescent shawl with a beautiful chain arc border. I'm trying to show you on the camera. It's super easy to crochet. It features a lovely hood and straps um, to tie it around um, your body and it's a really really lovely project it's super easy i absolutely loved crocheting this super easy project so for this so for this project you will need five skeins of landscapes yarn by lion brand and so this is what it looks like and it's absolutely beautiful. It's a delight to work with. You will also be needing a 7mm crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle and two stitch markers to create your hood. And that's it. So it's a very easy, it's absolutely beautiful. Don't forget to check out my blog, selenaveronique.com, for the full written instructions and the photographs because it's quite hard to show you on camera. So yeah, I will be using US terms and I hope you enjoy this tutorial. So to begin this project, you are going to be making a slip knot. Pop your hook through and tighten. And now you are simply going to be chaining four. So one, two, three and four. And slip stitch to close um, a ring. So to create a ring, just slip stitch through the first chain that we made. And now we are simply going to be working within this circle. So chain three, one, two and three. And you are going to be, and this counts as our first double crochet. And now we are simply going to be working six more double crochets within this circle. So just go ahead and place six double crochets into this circle, like so. So I have four, five, and six. So this is um, the first um, row of this project. So now for row two, chain three, one, two, and three. Turn your work and we are simply going to be um, placing a, um, another double crochet into that first stitch. So this was the first um, double crochet, well it's a chain three but this counts as our first double crochet and it obviously goes with this first stitch and what we are going to be doing is placing another double crochet into this first stitch. So it creates two double crochets in one single stitch. So there we go. And we are simply going to be placing two double crochets in each double crochet until the end of this row. So just go ahead and place two double crochets together inside each stitch until the end of this row. row. And we are going to be placing two double crochets, two in the chain three of um, the previous row. So now that we've seen that chain three, we are going to be placing two double crochets inside that chain three. So there we go. And this creates our second row. So you see it's really, really easy. 
So now for row three, we are going to be chaining three, one, two, and three. Turn your work. And we are going to be placing two double, a second double crochet in this first um, stitch, like we did previously. So place two double crochets in that. In the second stitch, we are simply going to be placing just one double crochet into that. Into the next stitch, we are going to be placing two double crochets. And in the next stitch, one double crochet. And in the next stitch, two double crochets. And in the next stitch, one double crochet. And we are simply going to be alternating um, two double crochets, one double crochet until the end of this row. And then I'll show you how to finish off this row. So I've almost finished this round. I've just placed two double crochets together and I have one stitch left at the end of this row. And because I've just placed two double crochets together in the previous row, I'm just gonna finish off with one double crochet. There we go. And this is our third row. So now for row four, one, two, three, Turn your work, and this counts as your double crochet, a double crochet. What we are going to be doing is um, placing another double crochet in the first stitch, as always. And now what we are going to be doing in the next stitch is place one double crochet on its own. And then in the next stitch, one double crochet on its own. And in the next stitch, two double crochets together. So you see this pattern is slowly unfolding. So this row, so we've placed two double crochets together. And now in the two next stitches, we're just going to place one double crochet on its own each time. And then in the next stitch, two double crochets together. So you see it's a very easy pattern. You are simply going to be placing two double crochets together, one double crochet on its own, another double crochet on its own, and then in the next stitch, two double crochets together, one and two, and then in the next stitch, one double crochet and in the next stitch one double crochet. So it's very simple. I'll just let you carry on until the end of this row. So I've almost finished um, this this row. I've got one stitch left and that's a single a double crochet on its own inside that chain three from the previous row. And this is how it looks. So I finished on one double crochet on its own. So that's what round, well, row three looks like. So now for, uh, no, not row three, row one, two, three, four, row four, sorry. So one, two, and three, turn your work. And this is the beginning of row five. And this also counts as our first double crochet. We are going to be placing another double crochet inside that first stitch. And now we're just going to place one double crochet on its own in the next stitch. One double crochet on its own in the next stitch. One double crochet on its own in the next stitch. So you see we've now got three double crochets on their own. And we are going to be placing two double crochets together in the next stitch. So really what this pattern is, is the exact same as um, last row, except you are going to be placing three double crochets on their own before placing two double crochets together, 
three double crochets on their own, two double crochets together. And this is how it's going to be row after row. So the point of this pattern is that at each time you add another row, you are going to be adding another double crochet on its own. So for this row, we've got three double crochets on their own before placing two double crochets together. So this means in the next row you will have th four double crochets on their own before placing two double crochets together. And in the row after that you will have five double crochets on, on their own before placing two double crochets together. And this is what creates this half circle that will grow and grow and grow. So I hope this um, tutorial is clear. Don't forget to download the free pattern for the exact details of all this, but it should be, it's really, really an easy pattern. It's really not difficult. So just carry on with that principle. So every time you add a row, you are simply going to be adding a double crochet on its own in within the row. So I hope this is clear. So I'm just going to let you carry on doing this. Okay, so for um, this um, shawl, you need to repeat that um, process for 29 rows in total. So I have 29 rows of this wrap. Again, I'll invite you to go to my blog, selinaveronique.com for more pictures. But this is what it looks like and it looks absolutely beautiful. So once you have 29 rows, I'm just gonna show you how to do the chain arc border. Okay, so this is um, the last stitch of the 29th round. And what I am going to do is chain one. This counts as a single crochet. Turn your work. And now, so there we go. So, mm, so now this counts as your first um, single crochet, which goes with this first stitch here. And I'm just gonna zoom in a bit. Okay, here we go. And now I'm just going to go into the second stitch and place a single crochet into that. So, and then in the next stitch, another single crochet. So just pop your hook directly through, pull up a loop. You've got two loops on your hook and pull through both loops. And that's a single crochet. And you are simply going to single crochet all along that edge. So just place a single crochet into each and every stitch across until you reach the end of this round. Okay, so I've placed my last single crochet in the last um, stitch of the row. And now what we will do for the second row of this chain arc border is simply chain three, one, two, and three. So turn your work. This is what it looks like. I am gonna zoom in again. There we go. And so we so this goes um this chain three um goes with this first stitch here. We are going to be skipping the second stitch here, the second single crochet, and going into the third single crochet from the previous row, and just place a single crochet into that stitch, like so. And now we are going to chain three, one, two, and three. Skip the next stitch and go into the next with a single crochet chain three, one, two, and three, skip a stitch and go into the next and place a single crochet into that, chain three, one, two, and three, skip a stitch and go into the next with a single crochet. And just do this um, for the whole row and I'll show you how to finish off this row. Okay, so I've almost finished. I've 
got one um, single crochet left to finish off this project so I'm just gonna um, pop it in this um, last stitch here and to finish off my single crochet now I am simply going to snip off my yarn and pull it through this loop to finish off this um, this part of the project. So there we go, we have our chain arc edging and again it's absolutely beautiful and I just invite you to go on my blog to look at the pictures. Okay so now that we've finished the body of the shawl so to speak we are going to be placing it like so so that the straight edge is um, is like this and we can work on this part. What we are going to be doing is placing this flat and take your tape measure and we will be uh, measuring so 23 centimeters and that's nine inches. So just go ahead and measure that from the center that so that's the beginning our center um, the first circle that we made and that's the center of the cardigan so of the shawl so just measure 9 inches or 23 centimeters measure this and place a stitch marker so I my stitch marker is a piece of yarn and I've placed it here so that measures 23 centimeters 9 inches and we will be doing the same for the other side so just take your tape measurer and measure 9 inches and once you've measured 9 inches just go ahead and place a, another stitch marker um, there okay so now that we've placed our stitch markers on either side of this project I am going to zoom in well I'm just going to show you this so I'm going to um, place my yarn here and attach it like so so just attach your yarn I'm just going to take this stitch marker off actually now that I've attached my yarn okay so now that I've attached my yarn onto my project so I'm just actually going to make a double knot because I feel that this yarn could come loose easily okay so now I'm simply going to um, pop my hook through like so and chain one once I've chained one I am going to be placing a single crochet all along this row so just go ahead and place your single crochets all along this row so please bear in mind this is what I call the wrong side of the stitches of the rows so that's like the row side if that makes sense so you don't have a specific stitch to go into you kind of have to create your um, single crochets as best you can along this row so there isn't a specific amount of um, single crochets that you need I will count mine and then tell you how many I did however what you are going to be doing now is just going down this um, this edge with single crochets until you um, get to your stitch marker on this side and then I'll show you what to do so I've just come back briefly I'm still working on my single crochets however I've I just wanted to add that I've um, reached the center so I've done my single crochets from here to the center and I am going to be working on the other side however make sure that on the other side you have the same amount of single crochets that you have on this side so for now I have 25 single crochets on this side I will be therefore placing 25 single crochets on this side you don't need 25 single crochets as I said you can have as many as you prefer this is just an indication of what I've done um, however just make sure that your single crochets are the same number on each side 
Okay, so I finished all my single crochets on either side, and now I'm just going to show you um, row two. So to begin row two, so this looks a bit messy, sorry, but I am going to turn the project around in just one second. So to do what row two, just chain three, one, two, and three. This counts as our first single, uh, double crochet. Turn your project round like so and so this is our first double crochet of this row which goes with this first stitch and now go into the second stitch with a double crochet and go into the next stitch with a double crochet And into the next with a double crochet and just place a double crochet into each and every stitch along until you reach the end of this row and then once you reach the end of the row just repeat this process chain three turn your work and so on and what we will be needing is 14 rows of double crochets in total so just repeat this process until you have 14 rows of double crochets in total okay so I'm back and I finished my hood I'm gonna try and show you on camera obviously it's attached to my project so it's harder to show on camera so this is what the hood looks like I actually ended up making 15 rows of double crochets in total and what we are going to be doing now is sewing so as you see I've placed my hood like this and we are going to fold it over like so and start sewing this part together. So yes, so we are going to be stitching um, these two parts together to create the seam and to do so, so I've left a long tail. When I fastened off, I left a long tail for sewing and now I am simply going to be using the mattress stitch as you can see on camera, I'm just going in one side and then the other. So just go ahead and use a mattress stitch until you reach um, the top of the seam and then I'll show you what to do then. Okay, so we've reached the top of the hood like so. So I'm just gonna um, make a knot as you can see I'm creating a knot and then I'm simply going to be sewing this um, loose end in but I'll do that in a moment off camera okay so now that we've finished the hood we are going to be creating the ties on each side so what we are going to be doing is um, so this is where my hood begins we are simply going to go not into that um, row but the second row so just um, go into this row so not this one where the hood is attached but on the second one and just go ahead and attach your yarn like so create a double knot and okay so we are going to be chaining 35 so pop your hook through pull up a loop and now chain 35 one two three okay so once you've chained 35 you are not going to be going into the first chain but in the second chain from the hook go directly in and slip stitch so to slip stitch just pull your yarn through that loop and then the next loop and go into the next stitch we'll chain and slip stitch and just go on ahead and slip stitch through every chain um, until you reach the end of the chain and then I'll show you what to do then okay so I've gone through each and every chain and I've reached the beginning of this project to secure it I'm just going to go into this space once again at the base 
and create a single crochet just to make sure this is nice and secure and now simply fasten off and pull your yarn through the loop like so. So we finished this project, I hope you enjoyed it. I only have my loose ends to tidy up, but I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, bye bye.